Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is time for you and me to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. I want to thank you for listening wherever you are in the world. I'm able to look at a map that shows me the various places that people are listening, and it really is just a very encouraging thing to see the map getting more and more full as the days go on. We have people listening in Guyana. We have people listening in Botswana, in Australia, in Mongolia, in Uzbekistan, just all over the world. There are people listening. There's only a few places on the map that I can see where the morning mindset is not being heard. Friends, continue to pray that the message of the morning mindset can spread around the world. And thank you. Thank you for listening. Well, today we are beginning a new series of studies, and we're going to walk through the book of Proverbs. Now, for me, Proverbs is one of those books that was one of my favorites as I was a kid growing up in church. When I was told I needed to read my Bible, Proverbs was one of those places I could just very quickly and simply go to and receive some benefit right away. Because the Proverbs are a collection of wise sayings that are, for the most part, very simple to understand and also very profound and deep in their meaning. So as we begin today, I thought it would be good for us to take a moment to consider what is a proverb, because understanding this type of literature is going to be helpful to us as we walk through the book and read various examples of proverbs. A biblical proverb is really a very short, compact saying that expresses some kind of a deeper truth that can be applied to living for practical, godly living. The term proverb comes from a Hebrew word that means to be like. So the book of Proverbs is full of examples of various simple concepts that can be applied to life and enable us to have our life be like what the proverb is describing. Now, proverbs have a certain purpose, and that purpose is to present wisdom in a very short, memorable kind of form so that you can easily remember it, you can more easily apply the truth of it because it is so simple in its, in its form. Uh, proverbs usually are very profound and you can take time to, to ponder them for a long time. And many Proverbs deal with very mundane aspects of life, but those mundane Proverbs will serve as a, an illustration of a deeper truth if we take the time to ponder it. So the Bible, the book of Proverbs, refers to Proverbs as sayings of the wise, or sometimes, as we'll see in Proverbs chapter 1, sayings and riddles of the wise. So friends, as we get into the book of Proverbs, keep in mind, we're going to have to, by the very nature of Proverbs, take this in very small chunks, for the most part, because Proverbs usually are just short, simple sayings that illustrate that deeper truth. We also have to understand that Proverbs are expressing universal truths or general truths, sometimes Because Proverbs are general truths, they won't necessarily be seen as applicable in some specific circumstances. Now, keep in mind the two words I'm using there, general and specific. The truth of the proverb is true, no doubt, but it's generally true in most circumstances and in most scenarios. But there may be times, by God's sovereign choice, that the truth of that proverb does not apply in a certain circumstance. And we have to just walk closely with the Lord in order for his spirit to guide us in understanding when a situation is that way. Now, friends, I'm excited to dig into the book of Proverbs, and I have no idea how long this is going to take because we have so many Proverbs. We have 31 chapters of the book of Proverbs, and many times we're going to have to take one verse at a time and chew on it and get through it. So, Pray for me as I go through the book of Proverbs, and I'll be praying for you that the Lord is going to guide and direct your heart through the Proverbs and build his wisdom into you in ways that you've never experienced before. Jesus, we thank you for giving us the book of Proverbs. And as we dive in in tomorrow's episode, 
We ask you to open our minds and open our hearts to receive wisdom, to become wise people as you are wise. Fill us with your insight and your discernment that we can apply it in the world in which we live as we work as as employees, as we are citizens, as we are parents, as we are children. Lord, guide us in those roles through what we learn in the book of Proverbs. Jesus, thank you for being our guide in this journey. It's in your precious name that we pray. Amen.